damage. You get the shield of the Rand, you got the Torn. That's all you really need to try and stabilize the fights. The issue, of course, is you don't have quite as much burst magic damage with the Galio as you would with something like the Syndra throughout spring so far. High kills and assists in the early game, high kill participation. That's because BDS focused their lane just like they're doing now, Gorbo. Yeah, exactly. Once again, mid lane priority, Syncroft down bot. Kazi, nice sidestep, but doesn't have flash. Matty flashes forward, the Chompers will connect, and that is Kazi down. First blood, they're looking for LeBrov as well. Off towards the top side, Nuclear Wind is fighting, but self-made's on his way. Perks, gonna get the route two kills now. Nuclear Wind flashes. BDS find exactly what they were looking for in the bottom lane. Honestly, yes. get rid of that flash, get rid of that heal. The trade might not have been advantageous for BDS at the time, but now with the Realm Warp, Vitality are trying to answer on the top side. Alfari jumps in, Adam flashes away, but the chase is on. Alfari juggles the aggro with the Hexa Gold Maiden, but Perks takes it, and Vitality unable to find a counter gank in the top lane. Perks almost falls, he will be shielded up. And once again, it's honestly beautiful. Laprov, he's having a great roam once again, but it's been answered by Limit. They're not on wards. Laprov, he could be in danger. Laprov has flash here, should be able to escape. Uses the grand entrance instead. Nuclear Rint, all oh, the winds of war flashed away by Perks. And now, Lebrov, you got Flash. Here comes the wave, What Lebrov. can you do? No flashes on BDS apart from Limit. Lebrov's getting forced away. The Lantern goes down, and Lebrov, he knows his day is done. His goose is cooked. It's a poultry matter for BDS to get that. Placing pressure in a side lane and then translating it to moving around with the team, where they're quite often missing windows, actually. And the last thing is that they just get caught. Sometimes it's just an individual in the wrong position in the late game. And for BDS, it's, it's honestly been quite the opposite. Um, so we're looking at two teams here, BDS, who quite often get ahead in the early game, then lose, and you're looking at Vitality, who falls behind in the early game, but gets the mid-game going for them. Yeah, Limit here is going to sacrifice himself. x had no flash. He needed his support to die for him to escape there. And that's Step what happened. Another plate goes into Adam's pockets, four of them so far. And I will bring up the proverbial hull breaker in the room as uh, Adam actually gets jumped on here. We'll get the knock back onto Alfari, but Alfari still has an ultimate, and Adam might be in for a bit of a bad situation. Hullbreaker is giving him extra resistances, but it's just not enough to fight against Alfari. Flash forward. Sundra versus Hullbreaker, it seems like Sundra wins. Is he good? Yes, he's <laughs> really good. And as you just see, he stayed off the wave. Adam here up towards the top side, answered by self-made. Alfari of him trading. Both of them now hit level 11. That Rift Herald has been started up by Synchro, but LeBrov and Perk's in a good position. Realm is going to split BDS here, and the rest of the team isn't there to respond. The Cataclysm can come up. There's a hero's entrance as well. Oh, that Realm Warp. More like a death warp for Vitality. They just gift BDS two kills. Is Santa Claus in the house? His name is Perk. Gets the team composition of BDS. You're it's just impossible. going to lose it. It's impossible to do. You have to get onto that backline. You have to isolate this Jinx, even this Jace, Hullbreaker is a very strong split pushing item is very good in a 1v1 yes with a face check so what has been burnt synchrof has no cataclysm kazi has no flash alfari almost down he's so close to falling x maddie flashes doesn't quite get the kill self-made looking to disengage this got the dragon's rage away synchrof still not ultimate on the job and bds they could sense blood in the water and it's shark week in the lec as bds are looking to pounce Instead, they go for the Mountain Soul. They will secure it before Vitality can answer. Realm War behind the pit. Perks will take it. He's on his own now. Lebrov stepping in, has the quickness as the flash. Perks with a good flank hook just wide. Limit steps in. Flash, play. Perks with the stopwatch. Can Kazi do anything? Can they save the day? Perks immediately taunted. Alfari diving in. It's a one-point trade. And x is down. x is down. And that could be everything that Vitality needed. Everything that Vitality wanted. x falls in the crucial team fight. Yes, you got the soul, but you damn well lose the fight and just like that matty completely face tanks it we were talking about the range self-made he's going to continue to look by limit finds a really nice play to disengage with the blast cone but my word matty the front to back working if you don't have a front line in front of your jinx vitality have every tool at their disposal to jump on you and shut you down it's matty burnt both his summoners baron will be secured for vitality nuclear in forced away and with that, Vitality now a three, well, two and a half thousand Need to get through that frozen heart. But we'll see what Vitality can do with this Baron. Currently, they are sitting on the amount of gold they got for it, about 1.5k. But they are pushing in. LeBrov hooked, though. And LeBrov, he just falls. Synchro has dived across. Oh, there's a control ward there. He can't click on the lantern. The hero's entrance coming out. And now BDS is going to be splitting this fight. Nuclear Wind going forward. 
Kazi pulls away, Feathers fly, Root comes out, doesn't quite connect. Perks though on the back line, fighting off against Adam, gets the shield from the Fimble into another host's gonna connect. BDS fighting for their lives underneath the tower, and they will survive for now, but Vitality having none of it, they're looking for this bot lane, uh, top lane. It's a one for one, but Vitality, they don't get to utilize the full potential of the Baron and Siege, and they can still look. Everfrost hits, there's the taunt as well, they're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting, but Perks will get rooted up, will get knocked back. And Vitality overforced in the top lane. Brilliant flash forward there from Nuclear End and Perks. Priority, move it into the river. But just look at the vision for BDS. They've literally, it's literally dark. self made here just walked all the way round. Limit misses the hook. Or maybe Kazi dodged it. Alfari in the mid lane catching that way, but we'll have a good flank. Synchro decides he wants the fight to begin. self made flashes away, gets away. Alfari trying to get in with the playback. And the root with the flame chomper still a two-man charm. The hero's entrance coming out as Maddie. Is he alive? Round one coming in. He's going to get chased down. He's still surviving, but now he's down. Kazi on the other hand, Vitality on the other hand, continue to wreak hell upon BDS, but Kazi almost steps into the meat grinder that is Nuclear Int. Instead, he escapes Vitality when the fight. Vitality, they do it again, and now Elder Drake on the table. I don't even know if they're going to be going for it. There's still 40 second death timers. It looks like they just want to go for the bot side here. They want to look for the end, while Adam, he's pushing in mid, but I don't think you can race them. There's too many members on Vitality still alive on the bot side. So Adam does have TP. He could just say, well, the inhibitor's going to go down. I will TP to the Nexus Towers, and that's Ten what seconds he on does. Limit. 10 seconds on limit. 10 seconds, perhaps, for BDS to hold on to hope in this the Elder. Yeah, and remember, Elder, really not that tanky of an objective, goes down quite fast. So despite Synchro just spawning now, maybe they should be able to take it in time unless Adam no has smite. anything to say about no it. No smite. No smite, you said Self it, has no, no smite. smite. Adam was on a ward. Super Mega Death Rocket comes in. Accelerated Shock Blast was blocked. Good play by Vitality. Stood in the way of the long-range abilities and were able to positions. All of the utility to peel was used. And because of that, Perks had a free realm warp onto the back line. Alfari had a free jump in on the Camille. And it makes it so easy, easy for Vitality to get these shutdowns. A neck and neck affair back and forth so far between Vitality. Nine tends to be where you get into playoffs. Only one team has missed it at that scoreline. If they lose here, they can only get to nine wins. The self made caught out. Has the GA, will fall. The Resurrection's gonna come out. Cataclysm was used there as well. It's trying to fight Perks, but Elder the Elder Drake. Drake is still alive. And Kazi almost shreds through Synchro up enough. They will retreat, they will get back to the fountain, they'll heal up. But because of that, with this wave pushing in, you have to feel that Vitality get a top lane inhibitor out of this. Yeah, no, Vitality, they're just playing on two lanes now. Screw the bot lane, we don't need to go for it. They're pushing in on the top side. Inhibitor should be able to pick this on, move into the mid lane, pick up another inhibitor. And remember, BDS, they're struggling. They cannot find a fight while the Elder Drake is still active and alive. And Vitality, they utilizing this pressure to its fullest. Still about 40 seconds on this elder. We'll see if it times out. Nexus Tower is the target. Double cannons, triple cannons pushing in. Now a fourth will join them. Quad cannons here from Vitality. As those minions buffed up, will take down the Nexus Tower. Selfmade dives in, gets torned up. Perks fighting against Maddie down towards the bottom side. LeBrock going in with the quickness. That's one, but the charm once again comes out. But it's Maddie has survived this. The Nexus should be the target for Vitality. Kazi pops the feathers. LeBrock going in. Alfari down towards the bottom side. And with X Maddie dead, you have to feel that Vitality should have done enough. Should have been able to take it in the end. It's a stare down. Synchrop versus Alfari. <laughs> Alfari knows he's got this one in the bag. The minions will do it. The sixth man for Vitality secure them the win. Minions got it in the bag. Alfari just looking to pat the KDA in Vitality. Not looking happy about that victory. But uh, definitely not a clean game either. Once again, Vitality, how long can they keep up messing around in the early game only to come back in the late game? Because it's a matter of time where you face a team like Fnatic, you face a team like Rogue, and all of a sudden that's just not going to work. And in the